Matthew, I had a really big crush on you. I never had the courage to tell you. I got you a card with the Valentine's Day invitation dance. My heart is broken too. I hope you dance with the angels. I didn't know Chelsea, I wanna come back. My babysitter got stuck in the dryer. <laughs> Woo! Ew! Ew! Oh, oh, and then you reach in there again and you pull out all the innards. Oh, yeah! Oh, Ooh, yeah. You smell it! Oh, that smells good enough mm, to eat raw! Yeah! science project for fifth grade. Um, so I am doing a solar system project. So I'm going to be reading you um, the first paragraph of what I have to do for this project. It says you can choose how you will present the information needed to fulfill the criteria of this project. You can create a 3D model and you cannot buy a solar system model from the store. Duh. See pics below of 3D models. Um, create a PowerPoint with graphics and typed information. Create a children's book or create a poster. Um, it says be creative. You will need to be sure to include the following. Size and relationship of each other. Label unique features, number of moons, rocky planets, and gas giants, and asteroid belt. Let's get started. Okay, make sure you put in a smock or an apron before you get started. So, now I'm going to be showing you what I did before this. So, this is AstroTurf, and if I flip it over, these are two pieces of green foam put together, and they have pieces of just normal, regular scotch tape. Um, and what we used was we used... Some of these T-pins, if I pull them out, they are like little 
pins that have a folded over top and they stick out and there's a really pointy sharp edge right here that you stick in to the phone. So that's how we're keeping the AstroTurf on here. Now I'm going to show you some of my supplies. So the first thing I have is some of these, I think you put flowers on them. Um, they're really like um, bendy so I'm going to put these, the plants on here. Then we have some paint brushes and there's three different sets but I am going to be using most of these. There's some sponges, normal little ones, and the bigger ones. Then we have some paint. So I have white, um, I don't remember what kind of paint, washable paint. And then we have brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then like a beigey color and gray. Then we have some napkins just so that we don't get messy during the craft. Over here we have styrofoam balls. We have big ones, medium sized, um, bigger ones, and then the sun is going to be giant. And then we have any tiny ones for Mercury. So I'm going to paint Mercury first. So yeah, that's going to be exciting. So I have these balls and I have a small ball for Mercury. So yeah, let's get started. In Jupiter, lots of people think that is there is just brown or brown, pink, and white. Um, but on NASA Kids, it classifies that if there is some splotches of red. So now I'm painting Uranus. And um, fun fact, at school I got in trouble for saying um, Uranus. So yeah, don't ever say that in school, kids. Say Uranus, cause I. Guess that's the way to pronounce this it. This is the big monster. This isn't. Did you guys know that this is not the biggest star at all? Like, not even close to it. This is just really close to Earth, so it looks giant. It's the biggest star in the universe, or not in the universe, the solar system. And this is um, the center of the solar system because everything is orbiting around this at all times. And did you know, since it's nighttime, we're upside down right now. Is that crazy or what? That's why we use gravity. Gravity is really important. Honestly, if you don't have gravity, we'd be falling. I would probably be on the roof by now. And also, did you know why the sun is so big? The sun is so close to Earth. That's very important. But in our galaxy, the stars that are bigger than the sun are gas giants and they are super far away from Earth, so that's what gives the illusion that it's really, really tiny little stars. And if you think about it, the stars are moving across the night sky, but the stars aren't moving. It's because the apparent motion of our tilt on our accents that we can see the stars moving across the night. Is that crazy or what? And if you didn't know, the sun is a star. Okay. So, here is my sun. We have finished it. Very exciting. So, at first... That's really cool. I was just going to do it like with this normal color. But then I thought to myself, well, my reference photos and from NASA, the photos that I saw from the space exhibit, show the sun is not just yellow. There is no such thing as a yellow star, if you think about it. There is such a thing as orange, red, and blue stars. So it's sort of like a stereotypical color, yellow stars. So the sun is not yellow, if you think about it. So I painted it all yellow and I thought it was very pretty. But then I wanted to add a texture, so I took this little spongy thingy and took um, flag red and dabbed it all the way around and it turned orange and red. And I thought it was really pretty. And it just gave it a lot of texture too, and you could still see the yellow some places, and I like that about that. So yeah, and I'll show you the progress. <laughs> so I have Neptune, Saturn, um, we have Uranus, Jupiter, um, Venus, Mars, Earth. Mercury, and little baby Pluto. 
that's our progress. <laughs> now it's time to put it all together. We are assembling it now. So I am putting in the sun first. It's got to anchor it down. Keep pushing it. Keep on going. You need help? A so bit. we have just assembled the sun. It's a little difficult with the sun since it's such a heavy ball. We had to use five. So yeah, that was a little bit hard. That's why we couldn't film that whole thing. But now I've started putting in these planets, which I've put Mercury, Venus, Earth, and now I'm about to put Mars. The Earth has one moon, so we're going to put one dot for one moon, and so on and so forth. So some of them have 72 moons, some of them have 75, so that's what the dots are for if you're wondering. So I finally finished. There's just a little bit of a few, just a few touches that we have to do, but it's probably going to be pretty easy. So this is our whole thing that we have going on here. So first we start with Mercury, then we go on to um, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, <laughs> Uranus, Neptune, and little baby Pluto. 